Our Katie Lee is here with some simple and healthy ways to kick start your morning. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. I brought you your breakfast today. Yeah, look at this. This looks like Smoothie <laughs> Central. We are going to start with smoothies. And mm -hmm. you know, breakfast really is the most important meal. And it's really important to eat it within an hour of waking up because that's going to jump start your metabolism. Oh, okay. Your body's been fasting all night. Right. You've got to get it going. Right. So people who eat breakfast actually oh. weigh less and right. have an easier time maintaining their weight. Dude. So these are all on the go. If you're out the door in the mm -hmm. morning and you need something fast, right, we're right. going to solve your problem. Yeah. Okay, so you love smoothies, I do so love I brought smoothies. you one. Yeah. We're going to start with some frozen berries, if you want to put those in here. Mm, I do. And frozen berries are usually less expensive than fresh. Yeah. And they also have the same amount of vitamins, if not more, because they're frozen yeah. as soon as they're picked. Well, they make better smoothies, too. Of just They do. Then you like don't have to add any ice and ice, water right, it down. Exactly right. Now, here's an ingredient you probably haven't heard of. It's called kefir. Have All you right. ever heard of this? I don't know what that is. You like yogurt? I do. It's like a thinner version of yogurt, except it has so many more probiotics, oh. which actually help your digestion. They right. promote immunity. And it has about 14 grams of protein in a cup. Ooh. I really like this Yeah, stuff. yeah. Okay, so really, kefir really good. and the fruit kefir and, and followed fruit. by... Some oats. You oats. wouldn't think of that in your smoothie, but it's mm -hmm. going to fill you up right. and add some fiber to your diet. Right. I Put like in it. a little pomegranate juice for me. A little pomegranate me. juice, which is actually, loaded with all kinds of out. really good, good stuff. You're getting a little heavy handed there, Harry. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, agave nectar. This has a low gly glycemic index really? and it's not is open. That, is it sort of like a honey? It's kind of like a honey. Pour mm -hmm. some in there for me. Except, you know, this isn't going to give you that same sugar spike. Give it a taste. I really like this stuff. I put it in iced tea because it dissolves really quickly. That is really good. Really good, right? You're dripping it all over the place, Harry. Well, I'm sorry. It's a good thing you're wearing an apron. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just going to hit puree. Let that blend up. Look Doesn't at that. that good? And you got the oats working in there? Yeah, what so you're going to get all this? your fiber. Agave ob... nectar. Okay, pour that in your glass. Is, it, is this like tequila? <laughs> it's made from the same plant, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, except it's not going to get you drunk. That wouldn't be the way to start your day. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be so functional. Can I have some so of this? So take a sip of mind? it. Tell me what you think. And we're going to move down to our breakfast sandwich. Good? That's really good. Awesome. I love it when you like stuff, Harry. Really, I never really know good. with you. Okay, breakfast sandwich. Mm -hmm. I love this avocados. Is, this is not like those fattening ones you're going to get in the mm -hmm. drive-thru. We've right. got a multi-grain English muffin, right. so you're getting a lot of Which fiber. Which are a lot, lot the fewer calories in this. Yes, and, and a, spread a, it with some hummus. Hummus is made of chickpeas. I got it. Which are high in complex carbs, right. low in fat. Also and known as garbanzo you. beans. <laughs> yes. And you're not going to have that hunger spike with this yeah. sandwich. All right. All right, some egg on there. Right. And avocado, which has 20 essential nutrients. The so avocados are so good, good for you, for you. Right? All right? Right? I right. really like that. And because they have that good fat, they're going to help you absorb all of your fat soluble vitamins. So that's really important. This is really good. You like it? Really good, really good, right? And you wouldn't think hummus for breakfast, but oh, I think it's really tasty. Wow. So we're going to move down here. I've got some buckwheat pancakes that are sticking a little bit. Oh, okay, you were looking at these very skeptical. Yeah, what is buckwheat that? Buckwheat is actually really good for people with wheat allergies mm. because it's actually a plant, not yeah. a grain. So it's right. kind of a misnomer. So you don't have those gluten issues. And it issues. has a low glycemic index uh -huh. and it's also higher in protein All than right. most other grains. Now, see, I add some this... flaxseed. What did no? This is this. That's is, what it looks like. That's the batter that you were telling me looked like cement in the commercial break. Well, no, it's, it if you're like gonna grout, you if it. you're gonna grout your bathroom, <laughs> maybe this is the stuff that's to use. That's not the stuff to no, use, Harry. Quit okay. giving me a hard time. All right, so, all right. So here's one that's done. We're gonna mm -hmm. make this into a breakfast sandwich. Right. Make a big batch of these on Saturday morning. Stick them in the freezer. Okay. And then just put them right in the toaster before work, and oh, they'll heat right oh, up. Look at. Wow. So put a little almond butter. This is going to give you your protein, mm -hmm. and it also has a lot of vitamin E in it. So Good this is skin. this is your Elvis Elvis style. Right. So bananas. So it's almond liked... butter and bananas, not peanut butter. Yeah, instead butter of peanut bananas. butter, which was his favorite. Yeah. But you know, you could use peanut butter. You think Elvis It'd would turn up his nose at this? Probably because yeah. it's not deep fried. Yeah. <laughs> but you tell me if you're going to turn up your nose at it, yeah. or if you like this for breakfast. This looks pretty good. I know you get up early, so mm -hmm. you need something good to start your day. What do you think? I'm sticking with this smoothie. Oh, oh. No, you know what? That is actually quite bite. good. It's quite I good. I want to taste it. It's I quite good. good. It's the almond butter, right? Mm -hmm. That makes it good. Yeah. And it's so good well, for you. The pancakes make it good, and the bananas make it good, too. All right. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this smoothie is rocking, dude. Yeah, you like yeah. that? I'm going to save a little for Dave, because he's... 
Dave yes. would like all of this, yeah. actually. Katie Lee, thank you so much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.